what is good job we are back with some more man get off my screen we're back with some more don't take that cat home oh my gosh last time it was an emotional roller coaster so we had we had the cat texting our phone and jump bro all right you ain't gonna stop it so we had the cat texting our phone which is ending 30 photo bomber and then we had it begins so it's like i it's like i went back in the past after the cat bro okay i don't know so i think now it's just gonna repeat the process over and over so yeah i just gotta go back to um to my point you know what i'm saying to collect other endings so i think to this time we're gonna try and do that one ending where there was a shadow behind me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna uh, take it home. Um, why did the music stop? On the way home, you briefly considered getting cat food. But that would be a waste of time. You straight get the odd feeling and move on. What do you mean it's gonna be a waste of time? How do I know it's gonna be a waste of time? I should not even be, I shouldn't even know this cat for real, dude. One bedroom, one bathroom, you, you living alone. So it feels weird having another living being inside after so long, even if it is just a cat. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you wait for it to walk and explore the environment. But it simply sits and looks at you expectingly. Bro, who's breathing? Did this happen before? Pet cat, feed cat, play with cat, clean cat. On second thought, um, the cat probably dirty, so let's clean the cat. Upon giving it a second look, you realize that the cat isn't exactly clean. Not surprising, since up until you brought it home, it's been sitting in a dirty old box in an alley full of full of scattered garbage for who knows how long. You've heard that cats can keep themselves clean, but maybe this one of those times that a little human help couldn't hurt. You head into the bathroom and set things up, trying to remember how to wash a cat. You're definitely no expert, but you think the best way to get a cat clean would be carefully, right? They're fragile, so carefully. You think carefully is the way to go. Cats aren't always fond of water, so you doubt it'll be a fan of an excess amount of it. So you pick the cat up and place it gently in the sink before turning on the water. The cat is startled, ultimately doesn't try to run away. Nice. That was kind of loud in my ear. It's a little loud. You lather your hands with some soap and carefully give the cat a thorough half scrub, half massage. After a few minutes, you rinse the cat completely and gather it up in a blanket, drying it. Then you take a brush and carefully run it through the cat's fur. Yeah, get clean, sucker. The cat seems like it's in heaven as you brush it. Some hairs are sticky to you, but you don't mind. In fact, Quite a lot of fur is sticking to you. You try to brush it away, but it won't come off. The freak! Cause you're up next for a bat yourself. What is this music? You try to ignore the fur and finish with the cat quickly, but more hair keeps sticking to you. Your hands are, am I becoming a cat? Before you realize that the covered in fur, that won't come off. It's thick enough that you try to just yank it off, but boom. Pain lances through the spot you tugged at. Upon closer inspection, you see that the hair is growing. Growing out of you. Ah! Oh my gosh! You can actually feel it now. Fur growing out of your back, your neck, your face, your eyes, your tongue. It's even growing inside your throat. I'm going to die. As you collapse and start to choke on the thickening fur in your esophagus, the cat leans up to lap at the fur growing on your forehead, grooming your hair as thoroughly as you did for it earlier. You'd think it'd be sweet if you weren't currently losing air. Still, feels nice at least to be looked after and cared for in some other way. Even if it is just for a little while longer. The cat's careful grooming in the last thing you feel before you're no longer able to breathe. Brother, what? 
Bro, how does that even happen? What did I do wrong, sucker? What did I do wrong? Should I do something alone? I'm gonna do something with the cat again. Uh, I'm a pet it. It's not every day you have access to a cute, fluffy animal. What else is there to do but pet it to your heart's content? You sit on the floor in your living room and click your tongue to call the cat over. The cat dashes over to you, immediately climbing into your lap. Poor thing. You just want some attention, don't you? Yup. Heh. Heh. All right, all right. Carefully pet the cat. A rub behind an ear, a scratch under the chin, a smooth sweep along the back. <laughs> Good. Yup. You keep petting the cat in your lap, enjoying the bonding time together. But the cat starts to get restless after a while. Um, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> he like, he like, whoa. <laughs> what would I do? I, um, would I keep petting it or do something else? I think, I think, I think let's, let's, let's do something else. Uh, oh, let's go back to that one scene. Let's feed it. Click your tongue to the cat falls. It leaves in the kitchen. Hmm, let's see. Wait. Find something you expect. A can in the pantry. Some leftover meat in the fridge. What is that? Wait. It won't let me skip it. That means it's something new. What is that? Is that a brain? You realize there's a tightly sealed Tupperware on the bottom shelf of the fridge. Whoa! You don't recognize it. A foul odor is leaking from the container. Whatever, whatever is inside can't be safe for human consumption. Did you just hear that? Um, but the cat seems excited about it, practically saliv salivating over it. Still, you're the caretaker here. You're the one who needs to decide what's best to feed a hungry cat. So you'll feed it. Mystery food? I'ma just give him the mystery food. Is this really a good idea? I think it's a good idea. Listen to the cat, bro. He turned you into he turned you into a cat. Listen to him. Fine, I guess. If this is what you want. You open the container and Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. I don't even know what just happened. Dude, my cam my camera, uh, my recording junk just like, it like beep right when I clicked it, bro. Like what? I hope that caught on camera. That was crazy. You just barely managed to keep from throwing up, but just barely. The stench is overwhelming. <coughs> Type of <laughs> Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. You hazard a look at the contents of the container, but you honestly can't understand what you're supposed to be looking at. Everything is just mashed together. What exactly everything consists of it is a mystery you're more than happy to keep unsolved. Different shapes, different sizes, different textures. Not the color, though. All of it is the same color. The most unfortunate looking shade of gray you'll ever see. Tinted with a nausea tingly wet green film over the top. What do y'all think this is, boy? I think it's human. Herc. Am I supposed to warm it up or you don't really know how to serve it? Any utensil or plate that touches it is getting thrown out immediately. No exceptions. Your hands are going to be scrubbed with soap and hot water within an inch of their lives after this. You decide against putting this crap in your mind away. Microwave. You doubt it would taste or smell any better warm. Not wanting to hold it anymore, you shake your head and practically toss the container next to the cat on the counter. The cat enthusiastically dives for the toxic looking sludge, sniffing it as if savoring the scent. You turn to the fridge and close it. That sucker gonna eat you. Do not turn to the fridge. What is wrong with you? You lost your appetite. You're about to head to the bathroom and wash your hands. 
the next hour or so when <laughs> what a sharp pain on your foot causes you to stumble you catch yourself on the kitchen sink and look down to see that the tip of your sock is oh red and the red is still slowly spreading to the rest of your sock are you bleeding you quickly reach down and pull off your sock to see the damage Are you not screaming right now? I'm cooked. <laughs> I'm cooked. I'm cooked. How'd he take my toe if I got a sock on? That's just disturbing to look at for real. Your middle toe is gone. It's just gone. Just a stump is left in its place. Steadily leaking blood onto the floor. Ah, you clumsily step back as if it would help you get away from what you were seeing. The blood trail simply follows your movements. 911. You have to call 911. Phone. Where's the. Whoa! <coughs> Gurgle. What? Your tongue is. What? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh, my tongue. I feel it. Ugh. What's happening to me? Munch, munch, munch. You slowly look over to find the cat still eating. Completely unbothered by your suffering. Not bothering to try and stop the blood from dribbling out of your mouth. You keep watching in a daze as the cat happily chews at, your, at a gross piece of... Wait, that's... You look more closely at the mysterious food in the cat's jaws. It looks vaguely familiar. It looks like a tongue. Before you can even think to do anything to stop it, that cat dives into the container again and bites into a piece that looks kind of... Oh my gosh! You collapse to the floor clutching your torso. You writhe around the on the blood streaked tiles crying. Something something's in inside you just blood pours out from deep within you whatever that was felt important and now it's probably gone too it hurts i'm dead it hurts too much sob stop please you weakly try to reach up to the cat on the counter above you your vision blurs from the effort but the pain from the tears from oh my gosh uh, your eyes, your eyes, you fairly limply back to the floor, you're leaking blood all over, from all over, your foot, your mouth, your insides, your eye sockets, you can feel your life fading away too, that's fine, if it means not feeling the pain of losing another part of you, then hopefully the cat will take his time eating your eyeballs and give you time to just... Bro, like I told y'all before, I am so squeamish. Like, really squeamish. Like, like really squeamish, bro. Like, really squeamish. And that's just... When they just get into detail about the blood, I just get weak. All right, let's do one more ending. I'm gonna take them home. I'm gonna do something alone this time. Like what? Clean apartment, watch a movie, take a nap. Um, I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm stressed out. That cat's killing me a bunch of times. I'm gonna watch a movie. What, what's the worst that can happen? You're not tired enough for a nap, but you're too lazy to get started on any chores. So you start to watch a movie. You get dressed in your favorite pajamas, make some popcorn with an obscene amount of butter, and head over to your armchair. Only to discover that the cat is already napping in it. Bro, I'm grabbing that sucker. Get him out of here. <laughs> you frown a little and thought. Your couch isn't at the best angle for optimal TV viewing pleasing, and you don't feel like pushing it around and having to put it back later. You lazy piece of crap. The only options you have left are to sit on the floor 
Remove the cat and reclaim your throne. Wait. We already know this sucker a demon, bro. I'm sitting on the throne. I'm sitting on the floor. You decided to sit on the floor. The cat is a guest after all, and you pride yourself of being a good host, if nothing else. Well, at least you would if you ever have any guests over before. You grab a blanket and some pillows and make a comfy nest in front of your t the chair. You pop in a random movie from your collection and can tell instantly that it's one of your favorite horror films. Um, it's just a white screen, bro. What do you mean, favorite horror film? You've seen it a few times already, but it never fails to get your blood pumping. A few minutes in, and you're already invested, getting reacquainted with the story and characters. The scares won't come until later, but for some reason, you feel like something is watching you from behind. I just pressed right click, and that scared the crap out of me. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know it's probably nothing, but you feel compelled to check anyway. It's the cat, bro. Brother, it's the cat. Brother, oh, it's the cat. Brother, oh, it's the freaking cat. You peek over your shoulder. Oh my gosh. It's a cat. It's a little cat. Little. Let's think about it. <laughs> bro, it's a little cat. What you afraid of, bro? You don't even own a cat. You don't even own a cat, bro. Gah! Only to jump out of your skin, jostling a few pieces of popcorn out of the bowl in your lap. The cat is awake and looking right at you. You take a calming breath, <sighs> recovering from your heart, nearly lurching out of your chest and immediately feel foolish. It was just a cat, of course. It was so quiet, you forgot it was right behind you. Even though it's the whole reason you're sitting on the floor in the first place. You shakily pick up the remote, intending to wind some, rewind some of the parts you missed. However, as soon as you press the rewind button, the TV shuts off. You blink confused. Nothing else turned off. The kitchen's dimmed light was still on. The digital clock was still glowing and the movie player was still rewinding. The power clearly didn't go out, so why? You feel a chill run down your spine as you catch the cat's reflection in the dark TV screen. Oh, wait. There ain't nothing there. <laughs> My eyes tweaking, bro. Y'all see anything? I don't see nothing. Still looking at you, cats stare silly. It's kind of the thing, right? You're a new addition to it in this life. Of course, it's going to study you closely to see if you're trustworthy. As you mentally reassure yourself, you turn the TV back on. Whoa, sucker! I don't, I ain't, I, that's not supposed to happen. What? The TV's on, but the movie isn't playing on screen. It's. Oh my gosh! What am I even looking at? What am I even looking? At? What am I? What even is? What? 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 What is? What is that, bro? Like I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what even is that, dude. Like what even is that? It's you. That's me. You watch yourself from on screen as you feel your brow furrow in tandem. That ain't even me. Is it? It's like footage of you in real time. Like you're being recorded. It's the back of my head? What are these pieces? You feel the familiar sensation of your mind focusing on small details to avoid the bigger picture of your current situation. What are you talking about? Sucker, you getting recorded by the back of your head. The TV's showing it. And you're focusing on the small details like, oh, my hair a little nappy right here. I look like a dang uh, nappy old crackhead. Oh, not looking my best today. This sucker is the horror movie. Don't y'all get it?
it's his favorite horror movie. He is the horror movie. It's a dumb horror movie character who doesn't know how to deal with horror situations. Oh my gosh, I just realized it. I just realized it. That is the cat. Look, that's his foot. It's kind of big now, though. That's a foot. That's a foot. That's a foot. And that's a foot. I don't know what this yellow piece right here is, but that's its eye. It's looking right at me. Avoiding the questions of how this is happening or who or what is doing this and why. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's facing me. Suddenly the mirror is so small and waves at you. All on its own. Don't wave back. Too stunned to move. The you on the screen doesn't seem to mind though. And then it then stands up. It walks out of frame. Bro. <sighs> out. I'm out, dude. If I saw myself walking out of my TV, sucker, I'm gone. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not looking at it. I'm gone. Because I know that means there's demons and crazy suckers with magical powers out there. And I'm cooked if I stay in there. I'm out. I'm running out the door. I'm done. I'm out. Bro, what is it going to be? I'm cooked. He's going to kill me, dude. And a terrified yell rips out of your mouth before you can think to stifle it. On screen in the chair is the cat. But it's wrong. Oh my gosh! Wait. It becomes a large swollen mass of black fur. It twitching pulse a rhythmical with its slow also almost methodical breaths the mouth is a yawning entrance to a black abyss framed by a set of teeth that looks very very sharp glowing eyes bulging all over its body it's still looking at you it doesn't even acknowledge your on-screen persona as they walk back in the frame and pet it almost lovely then the you inside the tv touches one of the cat's fangs you flinch as a sudden sharp pain in your palm you look down and sure enough, your hand is bleeding. You're not particularly afraid of blood, but I am. For some reason, the sight of it leaking out of your sins, another chill down your back. A thought and clear and terrible flashes across your mind. It's not just the mutual crack and the tears watching you. Is it? Don't look behind you, don't look behind you, don't look behind you, don't look behind you, don't look behind you. I'm not looking behind me. Watch helplessly as her on-screen self smiles and nods at you almost encouragingly. They stand in front of your cat's gaping claws. They look into the dark depths. And as soon as you torn between the horrifying realization of what's go about to happen and the gripping wonder of what they see looking back at them from the deep dark abyss, they jump in. Darkness is a sudden presence all around you, pressing in, holding you down. And yet you somehow also feel weightless. You can't tell if you're falling, but it doesn't feel like you're laying down or standing either. You feel warm. You feel cold. You feel everything. You feel nothing. You feel nothing. So... Each ending, we learn a little bit more about this cat, dude. This cat is a, it's a demon. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a monster, dude. It's a monster, and I'm bringing it in my house next time, bro. I'm not bringing it in my house, dude. It's gonna call my phone or whatever, bro. I don't even care. It's 
crazy old cat, bro. But, but anyways, yo, that was episode two. I do not take this cat home, bro. <sighs> crazy. Let's get this video to um three likes again, and I'll put part three up, bro. And I think next time, I'm going to try and get like five endings and knock them out, bro. I'm going to get a lot of endings because... There's so many freaking endings. Look at all this. Nice and but anyways, I'll see you on the next, bro.